Hello guys, in today's script demo, I'm going to be showing you a script that allows you to record what you draw on paint, save that into an AutoHockey script and replay it in order to draw the same image. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back and let's get started. This is the script. It's a pretty short one. And before I get started on explaining you the script line by line, I'm going to show you another script first, this second script, which does pretty much the same thing, but uses a different command, which is mouse click command instead of what the first script uses, which is mouse click drag command and the difference is that with mouse click command you're pretty much just dropping a dot on the position of the coordinates whereas the mouse click and drag will draw a line by dragging the mouse cursor from a point to another point and I'll demonstrate to you what is the difference between the two and the reason why click and drag is so much better than just the click so let me just run this script first and bring up paint and the hotkeys that I created in the script are control L button and I made it so that the left button gets pushed through instead of being blocked by the hotkey and then the control R to replay the drawing that I drew while my control left button left mouse button is pressed down and then I have the Control Shift S button to save the coordinates into a text file. And then Control L to load. And that's it. So let me go ahead and run the, uh, run the script and draw something. I'm going to draw a stick man. Press Control and L button. I draw stickman like this and you can see there's a tooltip showing me the X and Y coordinate and also a number next to the X and Y coordinate which represents the number of clicks so I've just done I've just saved a 1292 clicks within within the script so I'm going to go ahead and save this into my replay text and if I go to my folder to see what's been saved here is the 1291 lines of coordinates that are saved in this text file which the script is going to replay so let me just remove this stick pen and let me go ahead and replay by pressing ctrl R you can see that the stick man is being redrawn but because it's sending left mouse click it's just really drawing dots connect it's not really connecting the dots to draw a, a proper stickman figure but you have you know what looks to be a faded uh, stickman and this is not the ideal right so utilizing the same idea i've created a, a another script the first script that uses the mouse click, click drag function and this function will do the same thing except that instead of saving the output into a text file I save the output into an auto hockey script so and that's really easy I'll explain to you how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and run this script then move on to paint change the brush I think the size is big enough and I'm going to start drawing the stick man using the control and L mouse button. And you can see that the same tooltip is showing up, showing me the X and Y coordinates and also the number of clicks that are being recorded. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this. And this time when I save it, it will say it's been saved as an auto key script. And I'm going to delete this stickman, change back to brush. And if I go to my folder, uh, this AutoHockey script 
should redraw the stickmen that I drew just now. So let me go ahead and run it. And it goes on and redraws the stickmen like that. All right, so let me walk you through how this works one by one. Get out of the script. So the script starts off with the code mode being of mouse being set to screen, which means every time we reference coordinates of the mouse, we are talking about um, in relative terms from top left hand corner of the screen. And then it sets the batch lines to negative one, which gives it the ability to record as many clicks as possible. Um, or as many coordinates as possible as we press the L button down and hold it down. And it creates a variable called I, gives it a value of zero, and it also creates a variable of temp container. And what this temp container is, is this is going to contain, first of all, the first two lines within the AutoArchy script that is going to be written when you saved down the recording. And then it's going to move on to, I forgot to add a return here. I added a return to pause the script there and then it will wait until you launch any one of these hotkeys that are available from here. Now what this L button hotkey is going to do is when you launch it, it's going to first get the position of the mouse cursor at the time when you launch the hotkey. And then it's going to run this label called loop label every 10 milliseconds and the set timer command is the command that does that now this loop label will continuously monitor the position of the mouse cursor and as it monitors the position of the mouse cursor it's going to update the these two these four variables temp x old temp y old temp x new temp y new and these will represent the starting point and the ending point for the mouse click drag so the starting point will be temp x all for the x coordinate temp y all for the y coordinate and the ending point will be represented by the temp x new for the x coordinate and temp y new for the y coordinate now at every 10 milliseconds this loop label label is going to record the values that are stored in temp x old, temp y old, temp x new, and temp y new um, into this variable that we initialized up there, which starts with the first two lines in the script that we're going to create by saving the recording. Now, at the moment, the temp container is just a, just contains a string, a string with a lot of line breaks representing command lines when it gets saved as a script so this expression will add the string that comes afterwards which represents the mouse click drag command which drags the mouse cursor from the old position to new position now how the old and the new positions get determined is when you run this L button hotkey, it will first save the current coordinates of the mouse cursor into the temp x and temp y old uh, variables. And then 10 milliseconds later, it will do its first uh, loop of the loop label. And when this loop label uh, label runs, it will get the then current position of the mouse cursor. Uh, which is going to be different to the temp x old and temp y old because you would have moved the mouse cursor by a little bit within that 10 milliseconds and once you save that into the temp container and show the values through the the tooltip the temp x new value will be stored into the temp x old variable temp y new variable will be stored into temp y old variable this means that the new coordinates saved from the loop label becomes the old coordinates for the next round of running the loop label and then if i just skip this part and explain to you later and it will go to return and then the next round 
of running the loop label label comes kicks in 10 milliseconds later and at that time it will get a new coordinates saved into your new temp x and y variables all right and then save this line a new command um, of mouse click drag using the old and the, the new coordinates saved in those variables and the old ones come from the last time you ran the loop label label now the tool tip shows the coordinates of the the new variables and then this i is the i that we initialized up here and this i increases value by one every time the label is run and therefore you saw the number rising up as i drew the stickman in paint before and that represents the number of times this loop label label has run and this command is here to basically switch the loop label set timer off when your left mouse button being pressed is not true so ie if you lift up the l button while the hotkey is running it will do the last round of saving the new coordinates into the old coordinates and then set timer off for the loop label so it stops the recording there so that's how the l button hotkey works and once you finish the recording you do Control shift s to save the temp the value that is stored in the temp container which is a long string of text which will be converted into lines of commands when you save it into a file that has auto hockey extension code and if there's anything that has the same path and the file name it will be deleted first and then a new one will be created so that's pretty much how the script works let me go back to the script that is created by saving my last recording of the drawing of the stickman so if i open it up i will get the first two lines like that and then a whole bunch of mouse click drag commands all the way down so i've got 484 mouse click drag commands um, essentially drawing that stickman figures so that's how it works and let me just try drawing the stickman again before we go by running the scripts and we can see the stickman is being drawn and that's basically the result of sending a lot of mouse click drag commands all right this is it for today's script demo thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video